Hey guys, welcome to my channel. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing very well. I have a universal yum box that I'm going to share with you today. There you go. I do have my door open. It's a rainy day today, so I thought perfect day to have some tasty snacks with you guys. So it's not open yet. I'm going to open it up. We're going to take a look at it. We're going to see what's in it. And we're going to try some of these snacks. So grab yourself a cup of coffee, tea, whatever you like to have and join me. Grab yourself a snack too and have some snacks with me. So of course you hear the pitter patter of my baby's feet. <laughs> They're loud today. It is sealed. It's always sealed. We're going to open it up and we're going to take a peek at what's in there and see what country it's from. Exciting. I see France. It is from France. They always give you a little card where you kind of rate some of your stuff and stuff like that. So I really like that. Little booklet, of course, that tells you what the items are. I'm going to go through each one really quick with you. And then we're going to try some of them. Sorry, I have to have my glasses on, but I really like it. It's just so cute because it tells you some stuff. And as you see here, it says the Yum Scoreboard. Check it out. So if you open these boxes with your family and friends, then you guys can keep still score. But we are in France this time, so I'm really excited. I'm gonna open it up so we can see what some of these are. Ooh. So, oh, and it comes with stickers too. I have some stickers here, really good stickers. Put that aside. But here we have some chips. Don't they look really good, guys? Garlic aioli potato chips. That sounds interesting, doesn't it? Look at that. I love the packaging. Look at the pretty coloring on there. So nice, so pretty. I really like it. Shoot. Oh, do you know what I did? I forgot to show you the whole box. So here's the, let me take my glasses off so I get a screenshot. Like here's the whole box. I'll set it back in there. Well, it actually covers everything. So here's the whole box. <laughs> I'm probably gonna leave this part in here. <laughs> But yeah, I forgot to show you, because I usually do show you the whole box with everything in it. So when I take my glasses off, because there's a glare, I hate wearing them, but got to do it. Ooh, this is sour cherry, I mean, yeah, sour cherry hard candy. So that's a hard candy, and it's sour cherry. You see the cherry right here? I was wondering if I could smell them through the pack, but no. So we have that. Let me see what else we have here that's on this. They always have a little yum bag, which I think is really cute and adorable. Let me see if I can find that real quick. Um, I don't know. Oh, in the yum bag, I think there is some caramels and some popcorn truffles. I'm not sure. We will take a peek in here and see what's going on inside of there. You know that one. We have here... It's a mini roll. It is a raspberry cake, raspberry roll cake. Cake roll with raspberry filling. Boy, that sounds really good. Look at the little raspberry on there. That looks really cute and adorable. We have yet, oh, this is, this is interesting. Sorry, I do have a door open. Look at this. Potato chips, goat cheese and Espelette chili, I'm sure I said that wrong, but that does sound really, really interesting, doesn't it? So it says cheesy with a hint of heat. That looks really interesting, doesn't it? So neat. Ooh, look at here, guys. We have chocolate chip cookie truffles. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. That looks yummy, yummy, yummy. So freaking good. Strawberry bonbons. They are a strawberry chew. They're sweet, chewy with a touch of tartness, it says. Doesn't it look so good? I love stuff like that. <laughs> I like just about anything, really. So <laughs> these look really good. Oh my gosh, it says pure butter. Pure butter on these. It says pure butter cookies. Look at the boxing on there. Such nice boxing. 
1888. So it's been made since 1888. Can't wait to try these. You know I love the butter flavor cookies. <laughs> so good. And last but not least, we have a chocolate bar. Look at this chocolate bar. It is huge, 47% dark chocolate with sea salt. Look at that. Doesn't that look so yummy? Here's the back. So that is everything that is in the Yum Universal box. We are gonna try some of these goodies. I'm gonna obviously start with my savory. Savory is my favorite. But also, once you get the sweet in there, sometimes, you know, it's hard to figure out the savory. But that sounds yummy. Everything is from France in this box, so I'm so excited. So we are going to start with, we're going to start with the, this one. I'm going to do my water. There's not much in there, but I have some water in here. So we're going to open this up. If it's not a fight, oh good, I didn't have to go get my scissors yet. Oh, wow. Do I smell the garlic in there? You better believe it. It is loaded with the garlic. Wow. I'm going to pull one out. We're going to check this out. Here is one right here. It's like a ruffle chip. Look at that. The garlic is strong. It is some strong garlic. Are you ready? Mmm. Really good. really good nice crunchy crispy can taste the garlic if you like the flavor of garlic you'll love these no it's not an overpowering garlic flavor it's a nice one but it is one that you do smell it and you do taste it. And I like that. If it's going to smell and taste like it's supposed to, great. Sometimes you get something that says it's hot and it's like, where's the heat? <laughs> you know. Have these chips here and they were goat cheese and a little bit of spice there. That is interesting to me too. Hmm. Trying to say, I don't smell spice. I don't know what I smell. It doesn't have, it doesn't have an overpowering smell. Let me, sh let me shut the door guys, hold on. Sorry guys, it was just getting a little too noisy for me. So that's what they look like. I don't, I don't know. I don't smell anything. Oh, I mean, I smell, I don't know how to explain it. Here's what it looks like. It has, I don't know. <laughs> let me see, let me just try it. I smell, no, I, I taste a little bit of the goat's cheese. It's not bad at all. But it's pretty close to just a normal chip. I was expecting absolutely no spice. There's no spice at all. But they're nice and crispy. And I do, I do taste probably a little bit of the goat's cheese. It's not a strong taste at all. The other one definitely had more flavor to it, the garlic one. So we'll see. I've got to try these. Somebody sent me some butter cookies one time and I could not stop eating them. They were so delicious. So I can't wait to try these. Oh no, there's only a little bit in there. They were some of the best butter cookies. You could tell they were made with real butter and so yummy. But we're gonna try this. We're gonna see how these match up. If I go crazy over these two. I mean, they have butter cookies and they have butter cookies, you know? Look, let me see. Didn't they smell good? Mmm.
They're really good. You see they're a little crispy. Really good cookie. In saying that, it doesn't really have, in saying that, it doesn't really have that big buttery taste that I want to have, but they're really good. Crispy, kind of like a shortbread cookie. Really yummy. It would definitely be something that I would have again, but they were really good. But those ones that I have before, my gosh, they were just so buttery good. But these are yummy too. Go good with coffee or tea or something like that. We're going to try this roll here, this mini roll with the raspberry in it. I'm very curious if it looks like what we would call a ho-ho here. Isn't that what they call it, a ho-ho? Um, <laughs> oh, it looks, oh, it looks good. Look at that. And I like it. Oh, it smells so good. I like it doesn't have anything on the outside. If it did, what would you prefer? Like a white chocolate or a milk chocolate or a dark chocolate? I think I would like a white chocolate, but I'm going to taste this. This smells so good. Mmm. Oh, that's good. That's really good. I could taste the raspberry. It's so good. Rolled up in there. So yummy. Sweet, a sweet outer cake. It's thin. It's good. And the raspberry, you could taste it really well. That's what I like. I like if I'm going to have something that says, oh, it tastes like raspberry. I want, I want that taste, you know. But I really like that. I would definitely buy that for sure. It's so good. I have this little bag here. Chocolate. These are chewy. We have the truffle. And I don't know if I'm going to open these because then they'll be in my, you know, I'll have to talk with them because it's a hard candy. But they, I know they're good because sour is always good. <laughs> I'm going to try these little truffles next. Let's see. I'm interested on what they look like. So here you go. It almost looks like a brownie in a way. Mm. Some crunch in there from the cookie. It's like a little cocoa. On the outside, it tastes almost like a darker chocolate. I'm not sure. That's really good. Creamy. Mm. So creamy, guys. So delicious. Really good. I have the dark chocolate here. We're gonna try this together. Since I'm on chocolate, I might as well stick with chocolate. I'm gonna try everything except for probably the hard candy because like I said, it's a little bit hard for me to be able to talk with a big piece of candy in my mouth. <laughs> so, yeah, there's truffles. I'm, they're so good. I'm just wrapped up and you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 pieces in there. I want to try to open this nicely so that I can maybe seal it back up, but I don't know if that's going to happen. So we're just going to put a little rip in there. I'm going to break it, break it again, and I'll pull out a piece. There's what a piece, what a piece looks like. So I'm missing one here, and then that way maybe I can fold this back a little bit, keep it sealed up. So here it is. Um, let me see. It said dark chocolate, 47%. Now, dark chocolate's not my favorite. I do like it, but the stronger it gets, the more it seems bitter to me. Mm-hmm. 
it's good. I get a little bit of saltiness because it's salted sea salt. And you get that little bit of saltiness. I don't know if you can see it in there, if there's any in there. But you get that little bit of saltiness. It's really good because it's not. It's good. Well, it's more, you know, more of a dark chocolate than it is uh, too bitter for me. A lot of people love it. That was really good. Let me cleanse my palate. So, we have this bag here. These are cute little bags. And I think it had caramel and something else in it. I'm not sure what it was. We're going to pop this open and see what is in there. Um, here's one of the truffles. It usually has a variety in there. So, let me just pull them out. I'm going to pull it all out so it's empty. You have the caramels. Wow, that's going to be a chewy caramel. Then you have the little truffles. So we're just going to go ahead and stick with the truffle and open it up together. Hopefully. Sometimes these packages embarrass me because they're so hard to open. Oh, there we go. The little baby truffle. Look at that. Look at the color on there. Let me see. Mm. Mm. That's good. That is so creamy. It's so smooth. I know that sounds weird. But that has a nice center to it. Getting it all over me. <laughs> Wow. These are delicious. Let me see. Wow. That's really good. That's really... I want to see what is in there. Oh. It is... Because it has a crunch in there. I didn't know what it was. It says decadent French chocolate with bits of toasty popcorn. I forgot that it said that. Now that I read it, I think I do get that hint of popcorn. You know how sometimes you're not, you don't, you're not sure. But now that I read it, and now I do think I get that hint of popcorn. These are the caramels. I hope I can just bite off a little piece. Because if not, I'll be chewing. I might have to stop for a minute and then... <laughs> come back but i want to try them with you because i bet you these are delicious who doesn't like a good caramel candy right i do <laughs> look yep i'm definitely tasting the popcorn these are so creamy and smooth chocolate and then now that i'm getting the popcorn that's so interesting this is this one look at that let's see Mmm. That is some good caramel. Or caramel. Do you say caramel or caramel? I say caramel. <laughs> Let me know down in the description box. I'm nosy. Is it caramel or caramel? <laughs> caramel for the first... Caramel for the second. I say caramel. So mine's number two. Mmm. Let me chew this nut right back. Guys, that is some good caramel. I like it. It is really rich and yummy. You know, you have some that it seems like you could taste the artificial and all that stuff in it, but this is really good. Really, really good. Also excited about trying these. Might have to do the same thing because these take a while to chew, but you know, it has great dates on everything and it's really yummy. Gonna open it. Once again, these were gifted to me from Steven. Thank you so much, Steven. I definitely am not paid or sponsored. Oh, I'm not paid or sponsored, these were. 
given to me from Stephen. Look at these in here. The bag broke, but look. Let me see. Oh, yeah, smell that. It does smell so good. Righty, guys. Cheers. <laughs> Strawberry. Wow, guys. It was hard to chew at first because it was hard to bite down it because it was pretty hard. But once you start chewing, it gets very soft and chewy. And it's strawberry flavor. It's called strawberry bonbons. They have really nice flavor in them. They are really good. I like them. Really great. So what would be your favorite sweet and what would be your favorite savory? Make sure you comment down below and let me know. I'm going to tell you mine. Both the chips were really good, but this one had a lot more flavor, so I'd have to choose this one. A lot more flavor than the other one. Um, they both were crispy and yummy. These have a lot of flavor. And you keep the vampires away with the garlic. <laughs> but yeah, salty. Really good. Like I said, the other ones were good, but they tasted more like plain chips. Not a lot of flavor. Wow, my sweet is going to be hard because that raspberry and that jelly roll was just powerful and yummy and so good with that moist yellow cake around it. And I would say it's really hard. And I love the butter cookies. Great cookies. I just wish it had the more butter flavor. You know how I am about that. So, it would be between this one and this one. I can't really choose. It's hard. They're totally different. But if I had to pick one, I would probably pick this one. Sorry, Jelly Roll. Let me put you back in there. <laughs> the flavor in that Jelly Roll was just so great. I mean, everything was good. Everything was good, and I'm going to try this too later. I just didn't want to do it on camera, or maybe, we'll see. I just didn't want to do it on camera because I'll be sitting here for a half hour trying to talk with a piece of candy in my mouth, right? Yummy. So creamy. I tell you, these are so creamy. And then when I got the crunch, I wasn't sure. And then when I read the popcorn, then I was like, boom, yep, it is popcorn. I could taste the popcorn. So delicious, so yummy. I hope you enjoyed having this universal yum box with me. I surely enjoyed sharing it with you. I love you guys so much. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Tell me what would be your favorite item or if you tried any of these. And I want to know caramel or caramel and your favorite savory, your favorite sweet. I shared mine with you, so I'd like to know what you think you would like. But... Yeah, be sure you're subscribed and have that notification bell on because I do come live and I want you to be able to join me. So have a wonderful day, a wonderful evening, depending on where you are. I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for all your love and support. It means so much to me. I love you so much and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye, guys.